Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and this is now the final question from this Pure Mathematics P4 International A Level um, Edexcel exam from June 2022. This is about proof by contradiction, which is one of those new topics which wasn't previously present in the old C4 or the old C34. Um, so here it says, use proof by contradiction to show that when n is an integer, n squared minus 2 is never divisible by 4. Okay, so what we need to do is first write down a statement which kind of um, negates this statement, which gives the opposite of this statement. All right, so we assume the opposite of the statement. So that's the first step. So we can say, let's assume, okay, the opposite, that, okay, when n is an integer, that, let's just write it out in full, when n is an integer, so I'll put n is an element of the integers. Okay, that's, z stands for the integers. When n is an integer, that n squared minus 2, n squared minus 2, is sometimes, all right, sometimes divisible by 4. Okay, because that, that's kind of like, negates that statement. It says never divisible by 4, so you can say it's sometimes divisible by 4. Okay, so if we can show that this is not true, okay, uh, by contradiction, Okay, if we can show that what we've written down here causes some sort of mathematical nonsensical statement, um, then we can say that, you know, what we've stated here is, you know, a contradiction, and therefore the original statement must be true. Okay, so that's how it works. So the first step is to negate that statement, assuming the opposite, and that basically gets us one of those marks. So even if you didn't know what to do after this, that's one mark just by negating that statement. So don't just give up if you see a question and you don't know what to do after this. You know, don't just give up. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all possible cases that we can have for n. And as we have this thing divisible by 4, using even and odd numbers will help us because even and odd numbers are like multiples of 2, or non-multiples of 2. And when you square something which has 2 times something, you're going to end up with 4s in there. So this will help us to show this very clearly. So I'm going to take the case where, first of all, let's take the case where n is even. Okay, n is even. So therefore we can say n can be written in the form 2 times a constant. So like I'll just use 2 times k. And we can say k is an element of the integers. All right, so when you have n equals 2k, then n is even, okay? n is definitely an even number. So then we can say that, therefore, if n squared minus 2 is a multiple of 4, multiple of 4, then we can say that 2, whoops, what happened there? We can say that 2k all squared minus 2 is equal to 4 times a constant. For example, 4 times p, where p is an integer. Okay, so it can, it will be, you'll be able to express it in this form, because 4 times p is a multiple of 4, where p is an integer. Okay, so this if, it, if this is a multiple of 4, then you can definitely express it as 4 times a const, uh, an integer. So if you expand this, then you're going to get 4k squared minus 2 equals 4p. Now, this is a contradiction. Why is it a contradiction? Because this number is 2 less than a multiple of 4, because k squared is a multiple. If is, is a con is a sorry, k squared is an integer. If k is an integer, k squared is also an integer, and 4 times an integer is a multiple of 4, and this is 2 less than a multiple of 4. Okay, and this side you have a multiple of 4. Now you can't have a number which is 2 less than a multiple of 4 being the same as a multiple of 4. There's no way that's going to happen. Multiple of 4. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so because this is 2 less than a multiple of 4 and this is a multiple of 4, that's a contradiction. Therefore, we can say Therefore, when n is even, n squared minus 2 isn't divisible by 4. 
Okay, so we prove for all even numbers, every single even number that exists, that n squared minus 2 isn't divisible by 4. But we have to prove that it's never divisible by 4 for any case. So I'm going to then take the case where n is odd. When n is odd, okay, therefore you can say n equals 2k plus 1 or minus 1, doesn't matter, okay, one more than an even number is an odd number, or even one less than an even number is an odd number, all right? And where k, again, is an integer, all right? So that is an odd number. So we're going to say that n squared, therefore we can say n squared minus 2 is going to be equal to 4 times a integer, which is where p is an integer, okay? So we can now replace the n with 2k plus 1. So 2k plus 1 squared minus 2 equals 4p. Now this, when you expand it, it's going to give you 4k squared plus 4k plus 1 minus 2 equals 4p. Okay, so you've got 4k squared plus 4k minus 1 equals 4p. Now I can take out 4 from these two. This is 4 times k squared plus k. And I'm going to have a minus 1 here equals 4p. Now what we can say here is this is 4 times an integer. k squared plus k is an integer if k is an integer. So here we have this is 1 less this is 1 less than a multiple of 4. And here we have a multiple of 4. A multiple of 4. So again we have a contradiction. There's no way that a number that is 1 less than a multiple of 4 can ever be the same as a multiple of 4. There's no way. They can be the same. So this is a, as I put in, I'll try and make it neater, contradiction. Okay, so therefore we can say that when n is, come on, when n is odd, is odd n squared minus 2 again isn't divisible by 4 by 4 so therefore we can assume so we have shown therefore we can say that for all values of um, for all integer values of n for all integer values of n. So we proved it for all integer values of n. n squared minus 2 is never, is never, okay, is never divisible by 4, whether it's even or odd. Okay, so that is the proof for this. Sorry about my handwriting, but I hope that, that was clear. So basically, we have to use proof by contradiction. So first of all, we assume the opposite. That's one mark. All right, now, because they're telling us about divisibility by 4, then using um, even and odd numbers will help us because you can, especially when you have to square them, when you square 2, you're going to get 4, so you'll be able to deal with 4s. If it said something about divisibility by 3, then I would use, for example... I would say to f take all cases, I would say 3n, and I'd say 3n plus 1 and 3n minus 1, because that will, that will basically um, include all numbers that exist, because either numbers are multiples of 3, one more than multiple of 3, or one less than multiple of 3. But that won't help us in this case, because we want to have things expressed in terms of multiples of 4. So this would be helping uh, if, if they're asking about things, multiples of 3, multiples of 9, and so on. Okay, but in this case, it, it wouldn't help us. So we, we try to look for a way to choose all possible numbers that exist, but in a way that will give us um, what we're looking for, in this case, multiples of 4. So using 2 helps us, um, because when you square 2, you get 4, and as you can see, that helped us to express things in terms of multiples of 4, and then we could show those contradictions there. Okay, so that's the answer to question number 9, and that concludes the whole of this um, paper June 2022 
IAL paper from a P4 from Edexcel. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist, the link for which will appear at the end of the video over here. Other questions from this topic of proof uh, from P4 can be found in the playlist that will appear somewhere in this area. Uh, well, the link will appear there and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle. Don't forget to uh, look at the description and find other links to other material that you might be interested in. Thank you for watching and see you soon.